So, what is one of your best coping tools? So I would have to say that probably for me, my best coping tool is my sense of humor. Um, there's been a lot of times in my lifetime where my sense of humor or taking something and rephrasing it and making it funny, you know, both to me and to other people, um, has helped me to deal with difficult situations. Um, what was the turning point in your path to recovery? For me, a turning point, ironically, I was... Uh, uh, in a case management organization and I was taking a class on CBT and I had no idea what CBT meant, you know, it's cognitive behavioral therapy, now I know that. But it was basically about your core belief and my core belief was that I was no good and I was a horrible mom. And so challenging that belief um, was instrumental in my ability to begin to get better. Um. Who was the most supportive person in your life, and what was the most helpful thing they did? So for me, there was a, a guy named Steve Harrington. He actually um, is the founder of National Association of Peer Support Specialists. And he was an individual who had schizophrenia, or had a diagnosis mm -hmm. of schizophrenia, yet he had got his PhD, and he had got his law degree. And he told me that I could do these incredible things. and. I believed him and I, I began, you know, to do those things in small instrumental amounts, you know, getting on committees and on boards and actually having people find what I had to say as valuable. That was good stuff. And then they would send me to these conferences and for somebody like me, I walked into a place like the Marriott. I mean, that was like a mansion for me, you know, and I'm like, cow, they really believe in me to be able to, you know, support me in this journey. And, that was good. That was good stuff. So let's say, um, what would be the message that you'd want to give your past self when you were at your lowest point? Oh, wow. Um, I think that recovery is possible because as a, I had a mental illness, but I also was a, a heroin addict. And as that heroin ad addicted woman um, being battered violently by a man um, to tell that woman that she was good and that she didn't deserve those things and basically that she was a good person and deserved good things. I would give her that message because that's not a message that I was ever given. What is your hope for the mental health system in the future? My hope for the mental health system? Well, first of all, I, I appreciate the fact that they've begun to feel that we have validity and that there are um, things that we can do are of value. I just wish that the mental health system would put more investment in those of us who are um, with lived experience and the value that we can have in helping another individual. So what are some of the things that you do when you feel yourself slipping back into a darker point in your life? I've learned some visualizations. Um, I've also learned some positive affirmation type things that are now automatic thoughts for me. And I'm really good at reframing things. Um, it used to be that I would have to look for the goodness. Today I just automatically see the goodness in, in people, in situations, and, and can find that positive point. So the I Got Better campaign project mm -hmm. is, you know, basically helping people at a really low point. This is helping people that are suicidal, mm -hmm. that just feel like they're hopelessness, they don't know what to go. What is some of the advice that you could give those people? And you are right now. Well, I, I, there is nothing that's hopeless. Everything has hope. There is nothing, nothing that we can't go through and overcome together. That's right, and you're speaking from experience. I am. Are you a certified peer support specialist? I am a certified peer support specialist. I come from the state of Michigan, mm -hmm. and I also had a certification here in the state of Oregon. Is there anything else you would like to say? No. Cool. Thanks. Thanks.